a great report. Um, I bought my laptop because I have some assignments that's due later tonight. Um, this is the book I usually use to um, write down reports, so I'm just gonna grab that. I got a couple pins and let's see, my pocket pin sharpie. All right, so I have a couple of AccuChecks to do. So I'm um, gonna we'll grab the glucometer, a couple of lancets just in case, a couple of alcohol swabs, and the strips. Okay, right here, I am in the medication room, and it's like another um, blue bin area with anything that has to do with uh, medication or supplies that you would need to assist you with anything like that. So I'm just gathering up some supplies and getting ready to do um, my med pass. So this right here is the Omni Cell. Basically, it holds some of the medications. So usually you can like log in with your fingerprint, but for some reason I never got set up for that. So I'm just gonna bypass it, log in with my username and password. So once you get logged in, you will find your patient. This was, you can look them up by their name or their room. So what I'm showing you has none of the patient's um, information on it. So this is okay to show. Um, he is getting a melatonin, Miralax, Senna, and what else is he getting? Potassium. So I don't think that this one has any oh no it's right there so so basically once you hit it it'll light up to where to get it from and it'll tell you which pocket and I'm just gonna take one out and next pocket and like I said, it'll light up which pocket to go to. He just needs one. Close it back. Next pocket. Just one. This one was for the potassium. And we're going to close it back. So I think we have one more. Oh, the Marilettes and it's pocket one. Where is pocket one? Oh, it's up here. And that is it. I'm gonna log out. Then it takes you back to the screen. Okay, so this patient is getting the vancomycin. I'm just covering his name and I'm about to set up the
Okay, y'all, so this is my girl Sade. Um, she was doing this heart stick. The charge nurse actually called and was like, Shateria, um, are you able to get this stick for us? Um, someone pulled out their IV and I'm like, uh, I know someone who can do it on the first try because I'm not the one for that. And so, yeah, and she's an LPN. So shout out to Sade for always doing such a great job with these IV sticks. bag of sodium chloride whatever that is like 20 thousand okay so i'm not seeing it i'm gonna need one of these tubings anyway just in case if they are if they have not already gotten it today or some point today, um, I can just use the tube that's already on there. But just in case if they have um, not already gotten it, I can just take this just to be, you know. So I'm not running in and out of the room. So, okay, I'm not seeing a 100 in my bag. Right before I was about to walk out. <laughs> right there. So, yeah, this is all I'm going to need. And we're going to go get this set up. So, it would not be third shift without coffee. So, yeah, I had my break a little early so I can find my way back because, yes, I still get lost. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me what that white stuff is right there because I have no idea. I really don't know. <laughs> I was in the bathroom earlier and I just so happened to see it. I was like, oh my God, what's that stuff? So tonight I'm actually working on um, the med search unit. I think I told you you guys that I sometimes get floated to different areas. Um, busy but steady flow, not bad at all.
I'm back in this blue bin room searching for supplies. Why does it always take me as long as it do? You guys witnessed it firsthand. But hey, I guess that's what happens when you float. But I'm going to end the vlog right here. I truly hope that you guys enjoyed it. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for all of you guys' love and support who continue to watch my videos. You guys have no idea how much y'all motivate me, I swear. But anyways, if you've made it this far into the video, leave me a heart down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.